Hey, Philip. So I'm going to take you through this exercise series that you can start practicing on your own. Um, the main thing I want you to be thinking about is during the exercises, you're going to be doing in through the nose, out through the mouth, pulling the abs back, keeping the abs contracted, breathing in with the nose. During recovery, we're going to only breathe with the nose and we're going to focus on an abdominal pulsing, okay? So the first thing we're going to practice is that forearm plank, which you've done with me plenty of times. So I'm down. Okay, I'm going to pull my elbows up, or my hands up. My elbows are essentially underneath my armpits. I'm going to breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. and you're going to take a rest. When you rest, I just want you to sit on your heels. You're going to do, so that was four breaths in the forearm plank. You're going to do 12 nose breaths with the belly pulsing. All right, after 12 breaths, we're gonna come down again. We'll do the second progression. From here, I'm pulling my wrists to my ears. This time I'm going to lift my knees a small amount. Same thing, take a rest. I'm going to do the abdominal pulsing. I breathe in. So you're going to do 12 reps of the recovery breathing, focusing on full expansion, full retraction. Okay. So I basically just want to get the abdominal muscles moving in an elastic uh, manner, okay? Okay, let's do one more set of the forearm plank. So same thing as before, I'm here, bicep curl. I'm doing my best to squeeze my biceps. I'm going to lift my knees. and you come down. Okay, so you can do three to four sets of that. If you wanna start exploring hip flexion, like we did yesterday, what I want you to practice is getting into the forearm plank position, lifting, okay, and then just bringing the knee in, and then putting it back and doing the other side. I like the idea of loading the plank uh, progressively, so not lifting the whole foot off the ground yet. And maybe you noticed that when I was in the position, okay, I'm just bringing this leg like this, the foot's down. It's gonna be much more difficult here. And since the objective is hip flexion and I don't wanna stress the scapula too much, I want you to start to try that, okay? Um, second thing we're going to go over are the bicep curls, okay? So you can do them from two positions. I'm going to recommend the one that I'm going to show, which is a, lun a low lunge. So all I'm going to do, one leg forward, knee over the ankle, 
knee under the hip, arms by my side, and then I'm just going to take an inhale and an exhale. Okay? That's the whole motion. While I'm doing this, I'm thinking of abdominals. Okay. And you'll notice I'm slightly leaning forward. So I don't want you to be too upright yet. You start here, as it gets easier, you become more upright. You'll change your legs. Same thing, inhaling up, exhaling down. So you're in a neutral grip on the bottom. You're in a supinated grip at the top. Okay. Then you're going to take a rest. You're going to practice the 12 stomach pulses again. So I breathe in. So you'll do a second, even a third set of the biceps. Something I want you to practice is just a hold. So you're going to be here, hips are slightly back, elbows are bent to 90 degrees. Right? And what I'm thinking about is just breathing up into my ribs and then exhaling, just trying to grow the space here. Okay. It's going to become more difficult to sit part way back because you're in more hip flexion and you're just holding the weights, you're breathing, and you're trying to feel the muscles in your bicep, your armpit, and kind of around your upper back by the scapula. Like the whole shoulder socket is uh, helping to support the dumbbells. Right? Now the last thing we're going to go over real quick it's just that hinge squat, so getting low. Now, you do not have to do it with anything under your heels, okay? I like to be in this position, or this position, or this position, even holding like a foam roller between the hands. All right, and all I want you to focus on is just getting down, holding for about four, bre uh, four seconds then standing back up, going back down. Okay. Now, if it doesn't feel good with the heels up, use something supportive in front of you. And same thing, just start to sit down and up. Okay, I'm still thinking about abdominal retraction. So these are small movements. Um, I would say anywhere from three to four sets, giving yourself an adequate rest to start really getting the stomach muscles and the diaphragm muscles to kind of pull back and then open up, okay? Um, the more elastic we can get the muscles around the belly and the diaphragm, we're going to eventually allow like for, um, like the, the further you can pull the rubber band back, the further it can shoot in the opposite direction. So if we can start to condition, if we can condition the diaphragm to have a recoil and an elastic response, it's going to help to um, allow for a, a higher lifting up of the, or ascent of the, of the diaphragm as well as a descent. Um, so yeah, three to four rounds of those three movements. Forearm planks, bicep curls from a lunge position, uh, a holding posture position, and then just exploring a hinge squat. And um, here's something to think about. Using the mirror is useful because you don't want to be just like passive. You want to figure out how to kind of create support. Everything north of the ribs. So everything above the belly button is lifted versus here. Okay, and I do that with my abs and I do it with the diaphragm.